Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I thought I would share with you some happy mail because I got caught a few cards and a couple packages and I wanted to share them so that you guys could see them and so that the people who sent them knew that I got them. Now I do want to say um, there are two cards that have showed up in my informed delivery from USPS, but I haven't gotten them. Uh, I have to go tomorrow to ask my post office about that. One of them is from Rebecca. And the other one, I can't remember what the name was. I seen it this morning. And then when my husband went to check the mail, it wasn't in there. So I need to go to the post office tomorrow and be like, what's up? Where's my cards? <laughs> I'm a little worried. I hate when people send cards in card envelopes that look like cards. Because I'm always worried someone might try to steal them thinking that it's like a birthday card with money in it to somebody or something. Or I guess they could be getting just lost or stuck in machines or something. But um, I didn't want to say that. That there was one card that showed up that was from Rebecca. Uh, like a few days ago and I never did get it and I put the little thing on there where it says that you didn't get it And then today there was supposed to be a card and when he brought the mail there was no card in it So uh, I have to go to the post office tomorrow and see what's up about that But um, I just wanted to mention that real quick, but I did get some cards I think I showed one of these already, but I can't remember So I'm gonna show it again <laughs> But I'll do cards first and then I will show uh, some packages that I got so I got this this one. This is the one I think I showed, but I can't really remember if I did show it. I thought I might show it again. But this is from Nikki from Angry Cats, Angry Cat Crafts. And um, she sent this, I can't remember what day I got this on. I can't read the little stampy thing. But uh, I've had it for a few days. I've just been holding on to it to uh, get some more stuff together to show. But um, this is a card that she sent. I'm pretty sure I showed this already. I just can't remember. It's real glittery. <laughs> And inside the card, she sent a, um, a word search that is Thanksgiving themed, which is really cool. I love doing word search and cross, uh, crosswords. I don't know where it's at. It's in this tray up here, but I have a big crossword book that I sit and do sometimes. That's up there. So, uh, I will be doing that. I might take that with me Thursday, which is Thanksgiving, to my in-laws. Um, we already had my family Thanksgiving. So, I might take that and just do it while we're all sitting around doing nothing but talking and stuff. <laughs> but thank you so much, Nikki. And this next card is from... Was this? No, it was a different T word. Okay, I brain farted for a second there. <laughs> this next one is from Tiffany from California. I got this one a few days ago, too. I don't think I showed it, though. But this is a really cute card. Oops, it's Clary. It says, with thankful hearts... Uh, we celebrate countless blessings. Happy Thanksgiving. And there's a note in there. But look at the inside part of the card. That is so cute. Little teddy bears. Little teddy bear ping, or penguins. <laughs> Pilgrims. I don't know if there's like an actual turkey. That is so cute. It says re recycled paper greetings. They're so cute. Thank you so much, Tiffany. And the um, envelope. That side has a turkey on it, which Jesse wants. I gotta give it to him after this. He asked if he could have that turkey. And I told him he could have it when I got done showing it. And then the back of it has uh, Thanksgiving things on it. They're so cute. <laughs> All those stickers. So thank you so much, Tiffany. Uh, the next one I got, this one is from Carrie, who is the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And she home makes her cards. And I got one of her Thanksgiving ones. Is I think this is a Thanksgiving card. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> it was like, it's like a folly Thanksgiving card. So here's the front of it. I love this print right here because it's got like the little mushrooms and I think that's so cute. I like the little mushrooms. And it says, you are a beloved friend in all seasons. Wishing you a beautiful season. And she said, happy Thanksgiving. And on the back, it's got a washi tape on it. Thank you so much, Carrie. <laughs> and then the last card that I got by itself it's from Marsha, <laughs> made by Marsha Mom, and it's got her notorious uh, confetti in it. She lives in Florida, and um, so this is the card. Oops, I'm dropping it. <laughs> it says just because, and inside of it is her um, confetti that she always sends. It is leaves and hearts and flowers. Really cute. Always keep her little confettis over there and I end up finding them in the floor forever I, I found one of the snowflakes from her Christmas card last year recently in the floor <laughs> but um and she wrote a note in there super cute and she also put this in there is it tea cinnamon apple chamomile tea so now I can put that up where it goes all right that was just the regular cards 
Then I did get a few packages. Jesse got a package from Rebecca. It's the same Rebecca that the card came in the mail, but it's not here yet. So it's probably at the post office somewhere, or they might have stuck it in the wrong box. I don't know. But I'm, I'm always worried when cards go missing because I'm afraid people might think that there's money in there, like birthday cards, you know, from a grandma. <laughs> um, and they steal them. But uh, I'm hoping, you know, that's not the case. But anyways, it's the same Rebecca. She sent Jesse a toy. Uh, it was a robot transformer. His car that transformed into a robot and back and forth. <laughs> and it's not here right now. He's at his grandma's, my mom's, and he took it with him. He loves it. When we opened it, he was freaking out. And uh, we had to bring it home and open it up and get it ready to, you know, play. And he was playing with it forever. And he just loved it. He loved it a lot. But he's not here right now, so... And he's got the robot with him. <laughs> but it was just really cool that she sent that to him. And it was completely unnecessary, but he loved it. And it made him happy. So him being happy made us happy as parents, of course. All right. The next one is a book that I got. And this book is from Erin. And she is in Florida. I like her. Um, let me cover up her, her packaging. <laughs> it's like Doodle Dawn. I don't know if it's on the back. And she doodled on it some more on the back. <laughs> That's just cute. This is a book that she sent me. It's Crochet Accessories by Vanessa Moonsey. I don't know how to say that. But it's really cute. Uh, some super cute patterns in here. There's poppies. And um, there's a strawberry in here that was really cute. And a bee. I'm trying to find some pictures to show you. <laughs> but like right here, I love these little birds. There's the bee. Oops. An anchor. Just a bunch of cute little like accessory patterns is what they are for like uh, charms and uh, what are they called? Brooches and stuff like that. Super cute. So thank you so much, Erin. This package that I got, uh, they didn't sign it, but I've, I'm pretty sure I've gotten packages from them before because <laughs> of where they're from. But they sent me two balls of yarn. For my blanket you can't really see it it's on the other side of my cart <laughs> but my blanket that I'm working on uh, it's the six day kids blanket and I'm using red heart super saver ombre sea coral which is the pink uh, pink colorway and the gray colorway which is a rock word that I can't pronounce <laughs> so she sent me uh, two balls of that or one ball each and also she sent this card and she said in her note because she sent a note separate that she um, didn't want to write in it so that I could keep it or you know use it as a card to someone else so it's super cute it's like a little baby Rosie the Riveter and it just says it's just a blank card so you can you know write a note in there and in that was these bookmarks whoosh they're the magnetic bookmarks that snap and they just have a uh, Bible like uh, not verses but like sayings well a couple of them are verses <laughs> but um yeah so they're just little bit marks so thank you so much for that, that back there. I'm trying to keep everything organized <laughs> so I don't get the people mixed up all right and then this package I actually got today I wasn't expecting this because it where it's from is really close to the same place that I order my bag labels so when I saw that in my packages I thought that that was my bag labels I had ordered uh, last week but they actually did ship today <laughs> I got the notification for that after uh, Devin went to check them out but this is uh, a surprise package that I wasn't expecting from Marlo and um, they had ordered some items off of my Amazon wish list and sent them to me which is super sweet and they wrote a note and it's just like a thinking of you type note and um thanking me for sharing you know my parts of my life on the video you know to uh, help keep people company and all that kind of stuff anyways this is what was on my wish list my amazon wish list that they picked out and it's the zoomer groomy number nine look at that horse it's so cute and it's got some of the cutest things the first thing that i flipped i just opened it up and looking at it and it opened up to this pattern. Go back, go back, go back. Ugh, it's a new book, so it's hard to like open. <laughs> it's a toucan. <laughs> it is so cute. I'm gonna have to make that. And there's a uh, Highland cow, which is cute. Our zoo, 
our uh, the zoo in Nashville has a Highland cow in the farm because it's like it's separated in different types of animals you know like um, jungle animals and Sahara or however you say that animals and then farm animals up at this really beautiful house <laughs> but um, Grassmere Estate or something like that anyways <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked there's a big giant Highland cow up there and it's so cute and it it walks up and you can pet its little head well it's a big giant head and it looks just like this this one it's that red color and it's super hairy it's so cute there's also a panda wait I skipped the very first one the very first one's a lizard a gecko <laughs> Uh, let's see here. What's next? A pug that is wearing like a sailor outfit. <laughs> and then there is an angler fish, which is really cool. I might make that too. We love fish here. We're, we always go to the aquarium and stuff. There's a swan. I had never seen a swan before in real life until 2016. Yeah, because Jesse was a little baby. Me and Devin went on a trip to the beach down in Gulf Shores without Jesse. We left him with my mom because he was so little. He was like three or four months old at the time. And um, that was a really hard trip because I'd never left him for like a long period of time. We were only gone for like three days. But um, we went to a zoo down there right off the beach. It's like super close to the beach. And they had a bunch of swans and like a pond thing in the middle when you first walk out the zoo after you buy your ticket and go in. Um, it's like a, uh, pond that has like a island in the middle of it. And in the middle of the island, there's like little lemur type monkeys. And then around it is swans. And I always thought that's so cool. The lemurs are like free, you know, they're free to roam on the island. And I guess they don't swim so that they can't escape because they're not in like an enclosure. Enclosement, whatever I'm trying to say. <laughs> but the swans are swimming around them. And I'd never seen a swan in our life up until that day. And it was so cool. Anyways. <laughs> There is a red panda and a raccoon. It's the same pattern that you can switch around the color to, uh, here's the raccoon, to make a raccoon or a red panda. Red pandas are one of Devin's favorite animals. A cute little pig. He looks kind of sad. Piglet is what it says. A sheep. A super duper duper cute otter. <laughs> Otters are so cute. Ah! A penguin. I think there might be one more. No, two more. Uh, a fox that's like sleeping. And then the last one is the horse that's on the cover. That is adorable. I think that would be popular around here. Because there's a lot of horse farms and stuff around here. It'd be good. Uh, like a lot of people who have babies around here theme their nurseries. Farmhouse. Cows are huge. Every time I make a crochet cow, it sells. So I bet horses would too. Anyways, that was one thing. <laughs> the next thing was this little tin. It was real jingly. When we had the package, it was jingly. And this was on my Amazon wish list. It's a tin of um, sewing clips. They're called like wonder clips. They got different names. Okay, that's not a good color. Let me pick a different one. <laughs> one that you can see. This one's pink. But there's like a ton of them. I think there's like 100 in there or 50. I don't know. I ripped into it. I didn't even read the packaging. <laughs> but these are really handy with sewing. I like these better than pins because I always hurt myself with pins. And these are easier to put on and remove than pins are. And this super cute little tin. Another little handle. <laughs> so thank you so much. Completely unnecessary. I, I, you know, you never have to ever send me anything. But, you know, of course I love it because it's always fun to get gifts. And I'm slowly getting all these. I have five... Um seven eight and nine now so i need to get the other ones <laughs> but um i love these patterns they come out larger than you would think um because i've made a few from the other books so now i'm gonna have to rip in here i'm probably most definitely gonna make the toucan bird because it's adorable it's so cute and fat and short and he's got little tiny legs that's just so cute i'm probably gonna make that and the horse of course <laughs> But thank you so much, everybody, for the cards and everything. And now I'm going to put these cards on my mantle until my Christmas cards start coming in. I still have the one card up there for Michelle, my first Christmas card. And um, I'm thinking the one that was supposed to come today is a Christmas card because there was a stamp on it that was a Christmas one. But I hope that I can get those. I hope they're just at the post office somewhere, maybe in the wrong spot. I hope they're not, like, lost forever because that's two now within the last few weeks. And it always worries me. Because I know, you know, people are notorious for sending money through the mail, which you're not supposed to do. And, you know, someone, some bad person might see a card-shaped card 
and think, oh, well, there might be a gift card in there or, uh, you know, a $10 bill to somebody's grandkid and steal it, and that sucks. I hope that's not what happened. People better not be stealing my cards. <laughs> Track them down. But uh, I'll go talk to my post office people. They're usually, all of them are really nice except two. <laughs> so hopefully when I go in there tomorrow, it'll be the nice ones and not the two not nice ones. <laughs> But uh, I'm going to hop off here, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm about to record another video, uh, so I'll be wearing the same shirt, but um, it's going to be about Nick Crate, and um, yeah, I got a lot of videos to film this week, so you'll be seeing me a lot this week. <laughs> Hopefully you won't get sick of me, but um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.